looks like a smile. person who like doesn't ever say shit. You're Makeup nice. for me. The grease. It's the. This oily. is how they do yeah. the makeup. <laughs> Makeup, not oh. oh, I'm not supposed to read these questions. You're the interviewer. I forgot. Oh, so I have to start it. Oh. Yes. All right. Hey guys, this is Ashley Harrell, and you are watching Real Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Ashley Harrell, and you are watching Real Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Ashley Harrell, and you are watching Real Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Ashley Harrell, and you are watching Real Talk Radio. Unfortunately, after his surgery, um, I don't know how many details we should go into it, but did something really gross yesterday. And so well, actually, if you watch Brian's vlog, oh, Brian Cusco's here, by the way. Oh, yeah, say hi, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, but is, is that going on your vlog? Yes. Yeah, so if you guys watch Brian's vlog, then uh, you can see the disgusting thing, painful thing that happened yesterday. So yeah, he needs to save up his energy if you guys want to see him at Tinley. So, save it Tinley. And here we go. All right, coffee or tea? Oh, you're not when I'm asking any no. other questions? No, no other questions. I thought we were just doing lighting around. Coffee. Coffee. Dogs or cats? Dogs, unless it's like a big cat, like a serval. That would totally trump a dog. Pet peeve? I'm pretty chill. I have no pet peeves. Really? Do I have any? Think about when you watch movies and the DVDs. I watch movies and DVDs. You hate it when people oh, don't put the DVDs back in the DVD case. Because we buy DVDs and then she pulls it out of the DVD player and sets it somewhere randomly. Because I can't find it. And then we can't watch. And the toilet paper? When people don't replace the toilet paper roll back onto the thing? Oh, yeah, she'll run out of toilet paper. <laughs> okay, so you're not super laid back, chill. She'll, ju she'll oh just God. replace the toilet paper with another roll, but it's just sitting in the bathroom somewhere. I'm like, just you know why? put it on the... I have four kids and I have other things to do. This put it on the spinny thing. Out. How hard yeah. can it be? I do everything else, so he can do that part. Because you're like, you're like, where's it's the toilet right paper? There. Right there. Right where? Somewhere right different. there. On no, top of was the right trash there, can. It would be on the roll. Yeah, that is. Okay, letters or numbers? Letters or numbers? Brian's question. I think we need both in this world. <laughs> okay, non-reptile hobby. I enjoy archery. I did it for a long time before I ever even was able to like think about hunting something. Favorite genetic mutation. It's a toss-up. I like the pied looking stuff. So you you really can't go wrong with a pied ball python. They are like a good looking pied ball python is incredible. Um, and kind of along the same lines, much more interesting species for me would be like a, a crazy example of like a Bell's Face Lace Monitor. I don't know, they don't really like call that up more for whatever, but it is. So, yeah. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Oh, needles. I hate needles. Not like, you know, like I could take like a tetanus shot or a shank to the arm, that would be okay. But like going into your veins with needles where they're like fishing around inside there, it just grosses me out. Why don't you have any lizards? I'm focused on super doors. I actually love lizards, but from a keeping perspective, like can you imagine having as many lizards as I have snakes? That would be oh, so much you. maintenance. Who do you look up into the, uh, look up to in the hobby? Ben Rennick. Uh, was was an awesome guy in the hobby and the reasons I looked up to him like first he was just a, a great dude and awesome to anybody he always gave everybody the time and anyone will tell you that but but secondly I really liked his business approach um, he was just super sharp his his business stuff sense was amazing Ben had kind of had it all licked he was at the top of his game 
with ball python morphs, you know, producing them. He was a, had top line, top of the line uh, customer service, and he was very successful from a business standpoint. So, ultimate goal for your reptile keeping. A big portion where we actually make money with reach out reptiles is like superdorf crosses and morphs. But for me personally, I would like to shift over to where my focus ends up going more into uh, the locale right? laughing. What? What's the Nothing. 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 Oh, Brian. Brian is funny. His mad. Funny. His Mad cinematic skills. Camera handling. Moving camera. I hope you guys are enjoying the moving camera <laughs> brought to you by Brian Cusco. No, I want. You're welcome. I'm going to cut the first one out and leave that one there. Unless you say it again, then it'll get that comedy. It gets funny the more time you say it. It's like not funny and then funny again. You're welcome. <laughs> See, that was the not funny one. Anyway, um, localities, the Superdorf localities, and getting a good representation of there. I, I would love to read those and just kind of teach people how to appreciate them for what they are and not have them have to be albino or something like that. Biggest unachieved life goal? A dream of mine before I met you, I was a little bit older, I was like ready to get married, didn't meet the right girl forever, basically gave up on it and then I was like, well. <laughs> we got married when he was 26. <laughs> yeah, but I was ready to be married when I was like 16. I was no, like, life is lame You're making without. it sound like you're 40 and like never married. It felt like that. It definitely felt like that. But what my big plan for myself was to have some kind of turnkey business like a like a coin operated uh, laundromat or something and I wanted to move to Georgia and buy one of those little islands that you can own but you're not allowed to build anything on and then just build something anyways and have like a canoe and a bicycle and a dog like Pookie and then just canoe to shore and bicycle over and get on my quarters and live on bare minimum for as long as I can like a little bit of a Walden Pond experience and just see what happened to my brain as it sat there and thought about things with no responsibilities or anything to do like a social experiment. You know this, I come up with like five life goals for my life every day before lunch every day. Yeah, it's always like one thing or the next. So if I was to even attempt to achieve like half of those, I would have to clone myself a million times over. Oh, well, I'll pick something that you've done with that before. I don't know. You picked something. Oh, right. what's, your, what's your biggest unachieved life goal for me? That's a much more interesting question. Is no, it not? Yes. I think you're doing it finally. I think. Finally? <laughs> well, I was going to ask you why it took you so long to have your own reptile business, but finally that has been achieved so far. Hopefully it keeps going. Well, that's a good question. It was because I was a wuss. But she was actually the one that pushed me to do it. She was like, you have always done this for everybody else. Why don't you do this for yourself? All right, last one, but not least, <laughs> Brian Tesco. How many years do you think this channel will really last? <laughs> You're lucky if it goes till next week. If you weren't here filming it right now, I'd be like, nah, I ain't gonna talk them on Tuesday this week. My shoulder hurts. That's the last one, you gotta get some more. I don't have any more. Um, there, there's more on that list. I didn't write all of yours down. What? <laughs> you'll re you'll there's one more. Yes, I don't even remember. You forget it. I didn't write that one down. How long has that been there? <laughs> this thing? Oh, that? Is that what you were really referring to? The flavor saver? Or just making up something? That's it's been a while. Uh, I mean, I shave it off every now and then to see if she notices, and she never does. But I've pretty much had the little flavor saver since. Ew, so well, I mean, holding it that so gross. It's like a 90s thing, so it's been there for a minute. <laughs> one of them is, do you still love me? <laughs> Who's asking the question? Oh, you're gonna get me, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, you Okay. Um. What's up with the chock full of nuts can? It's product placement. This this channel is unofficially driven oh. by chock full of nuts <laughs> because I drink so much of it. That's true. And yes. the cans are useful. This has my chalk. Okay, and mom fact, this is only it's like chalk $9 full of chalk. at Target, and that's a lot of coffee for $9, and it's I mean, there's, it. there's cheaper coffee, but there's not a better, well, yeah. there's not a better cheaper coffee. I would say it's, yeah. 
biggest question is what's, what's up with the snake bag under the books up there? Getting oh, edited yeah. out, editing this out. I'm editing this episode. <laughs> there we go. Are we good? There was something else that I wanted to play, but I couldn't tell. I know what it was. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, tune in on Friday. We'll see you there if I manage to get a video up while also setting up a giant booth at Tinley Park. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a great week. <laughs> That's the end right there. <laughs>